What's going on guys, Phil here from Phil's Craft Corner. Today I want to talk to you about how I made these. These are my aluminium business cards and they have my YouTube channel on the back with a QR code. I'm going to talk you through how I found these, the settings I used on my laser, uh, how I got the QR code with my logo in the middle. quite an easy process to be fair it uh, takes around an hour to get nine of these done I do nine of these at a time and they fit in my wallet really nicely and then when I'm starting to run low I just do another nine the reason I do nine is because I have this jig and what I did was I made the jig just so these fit in just into there there's a tiny little bit of movement backwards and forwards just to get make it easy to get them in and out and some of them are not exactly the same size, some of them are slightly bigger and they're not exactly square because these are really really cheap off eBay. So to make this jig I just cut out the rectangle the size of the business cards, I measured them, cut out the rectangle, saw what fitted nicely and then I just cut an extra semicircle out at the bottom and then glued these two pieces together. I've got a little arrow in the top left here which is my zero point on my laser and I just line that up to the little uh, pieces of wood that I've got in the laser you'll see that in a moment and that just lines everything up there and then I can make these now I've got the file saved on Lightburn I can put whatever I want on these and it'll still all line up as long as it's in, within the squares so what we'll do is we'll head over to the laser now I'll let these cut out and I'll talk about the settings that I used on these. Alright guys so we're over at the laser now and obviously I'm not going to sit and let you watch the whole process that goes along for an hour pretty much. Um, I've just sped this up, you know, just saves quite a lot of time. As you can see it engraves really really nicely on there. This is at 300mm a second at 18% power on my 50 watt Chinese laser and it, it, you just get really really nice crisp lines on there what you will find is some of the engraving will have little dust from obviously the anodized being vaporized you do get the bits of dust from that in your engravings but at the end I'll show you you just wipe it off with uh, a damp cloth I use wet wipes which I keep handy and that just makes the process uh, a lot easier. When you do get to the end of this process, I use a spare card and I just tuck it underneath the corner and lift it up that way. When you are flipping these over, make sure you flip them from left to right or right to left, not up or down, because if you flip them up and down, then the back is gonna be upside down to the front and it's not going to look as good. If you do it left to right then both of them are the same way around. And then we just repeat the same process of the engraving on the back of them and once that's done it's time to clean them. So I just take all these out in one process, stack them up and then clean them all in one go after that. Like I say, to clean these I use just a normal wet wipe, these are just off the shelf antibacterial wipe. Baby wipes will work just as well, it's, it's just a damp cloth that isn't going to break apart in your hands just to remove all the excess residue that's come from the engraving and then you get a nice clean engraving on the aluminium when you do put these to one side after you've finished cleaning them just put them separate so they can dry because if you stack them up on top of each other they're gonna kind of stick together and the center of them is not going to dry and it's just going to be a bit of a pain in the backside when you come to pick them up later on So there we go guys, that is how I make my business cards. Like I say, I will stick a link down below to where I found these business cards and they were fairly cheap, they were $9.99 for 100 and that's not too bad for these things. It shows off a bit of your work and they look really fancy and you also get 
a nice little satisfying noise. It's just really fun, really great. It's something a little bit different that not many people would have seen. Everyone that I've shown them to thinks they're really cool and I'm just going to make more of them and we're going to keep going with those. So thanks for watching guys. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and if you feel like it then please subscribe almost at a thousand subscribers and as you know YouTube starts paying me for my videos at a thousand subscribers and at that point I can then buy more materials and do bigger and better videos for you guys and we can, we can just grow from there together so thank you so much to everybody that's subscribed so far it's absolutely amazing and I'll see you in the next video